Well, you've heard the saying that ice is never 100% safe, and that rang true this weekend when six vehicles sank into Lake Pepin on the Minnesota-Wisconsin border. As WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows us, there's an important rule to live by if you're driving or parking on a lake this winter. I was out um, maybe a quarter mile out and I had 12 inches of ice out there. From experienced anglers like Brock Smith, who fishes twice a week at Lake Pepin, to new anglers like Jessica Cargess. We got a couple perch and walleye. Of course, gave away the walleye, but still got some food for tonight. The fish are biting and the crowds are back too. On Saturday, Brock says the parking lot was full, so drivers started parking on the lake. He watched from afar as six vehicles fell through the ice and had to be reeled in. While the ice may look thick enough to park on, the DNR says vehicles should be at least 50 feet apart and moved every two hours to prevent sinking, like we saw this weekend. I felt bad for them because. I mean, it can happen to anybody, and they, they didn't know that they shouldn't have been parking out there. Brock parked there last weekend. And somebody came and parked right next to me, and I came and did the long walk and moved my vehicle into a parking spot. So yeah. that could have been my truck out there. Lake Pepin is a naturally occurring lake on the Mississippi River. Typical Lake Pepin ice. It's never safe out there. After seeing people fall through over the years, Brock hopes for more signage, like these new ones put up after Saturday's sinkage. The season, really, I mean, it's always like this. So that's why you just see a lot of foot traffic and a lot of snowmobiles and four wheelers and we all wish and wait for us to be able to drive out there. Don't park near the shore. Just don't park near the shore. <laughs> at Lake Pepin, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The DNR says you need at least five inches for a snowmobile or ATV. It's eight to 12 inches of ice thickness for cars or a small truck and 12 to 15 inches for a medium sized truck. And you need to double those thicknesses if the ice is covered in snow.